Lee looks like a man who spent his life on horseback. Then you realize this is only his second Western. He actually got the world's attention playing small but intense roles in movies like Heaven's Gate, Body Heat, and Nine and a Half Weeks. Nevertheless, Mickey Rourke is starring in a movie called FTW, playing an ex-con who's a rodeo cowboy. And once again, he brings to the role an intensity that has become his trademark. That dark intensity first surfaced in his early years when he was an amateur boxer in Miami. After that, he studied acting in New York, but the lessons he learned as a boxer still affect his thinking today. You know, I relate, I relate you know, like one sport to another, you know, like the boxing that I do. So I knew I, w I wasn't prepared to, to get on a bronc, you know, a saddle bronc. So what I, what I purposely did was I set a fight up about two weeks before I had to start the movie, so mentally I'd be prepared. So I trained in my own way to try to keep, because it's all about concentration and focus and, and, you know, having your mind in the right place. So I took that fight in Missouri. So when I came to the set, I, my, I immediately, I wouldn't say I want to get on a saddle bronc. You know, I wanted to take that side of my ego and put it aside. I did my thing. And then I wanted to take it like a step at a time because uh, I don't know anything about horses. And uh, it was the little things. It's, it's the uh, keeping your toes out and doing it. I like doing it, but I, I enjoyed it more when um, I can't ride a horse like I walk around or like I fight in the gym. You know, there's a certain posture you have to have. And so a lot of people, including myself, would have a habit of tugging on the reins too hard. You got the horse going up and down, and then you got his mouth, which is sensitive, and, and you don't want to be jerking him and everything. And it was nice to, when, to take the reins and then to pull it like that and just slowly stop him. That's when I started to really enjoy riding. Fences, Angel? I do. Tell you what, let's bend the rules a little. Ain't gonna tell nobody if you don't. Bend it. Well, it's gonna be me and you, baby. I've been waiting a long time for this. We go bust a nut together. Filmed at more than 50 locations in the big sky country of Montana, FTW is an explosive love story set against a rodeo circuit background. The storyline originated with Mickey himself and pairs his main character, Frank T. Wells, with a Native American rodeo rider named Buck, played by Rodney Grant. Fresh out of prison, Wells hits the rodeo circuit to resurrect his championship career. He and Buck take to the road with Frank's horse, Angel. Things get complicated when Frank meets a woman who's running from the police and the inevitable romance turns tragic. Personally, I don't really care what the public thinks. I mean, I'm, I mean, in general. What, this particular movie, I care about what the people in the rodeo business, because I wanted to, to pay respect to what their profession is. <laughs> and that's why I'm saying the little basic things were important. It's like when we were doing the scene where I'm supposed to get on the on the horse, he's in the chute. And the little things where you grab the rope first, you hold on to the rail, you get you get your stirrups in, and you you you, you know talking to the horse and doing all those the little things. I think is what um, um, was interesting. I mean, anybody could just jump and get in on the chute and sit on the horse, but there's a lot of little technical things that, like there was a scene in the shoot where my, I was supposed to bang my hand against it and, and, and swear and curse and everything. And I thought, like, I tried to relate that to boxing. Like, if you get hit a good shot, you don't go, you don't swear and curse. You just, you hide it or you just keep it in. 
And I was talking to the rodeo boys, and they, they said, you know, if you're hurting, you just wait till after your ride's over. You know, take it behind the chute. So there was little things like that that, that, that um, was important to me uh, for the movie. I can't live my life thinking what somebody thinks who I don't know. I know people don't like hearing that, but, you know, uh, they go watch Die Hard. You know what I mean? As long as the people who really know about horses, if this movie could come across and mean something to them and, you know, pays a certain amount of respect to their profession, that'll make me happy. I don't care what every other Tom, Dick, and Harry thinks. Rourke's love interest in the film is Scarlet, played by Laurie Singer, a woman victimized by her brother and on the run after a bank raid goes wrong. As it happens, auto mechanics are his specialty. Frank's truck needs repair, so the two outcasts run off together and an edgy friendship grows into an ill-fated romance. But there's plenty of rodeo action in FTW. Though Mickey does most of his own riding in the film, he lets the real cowboys take over in the bronc riding scenes. No doubt about it, Mickey loved this role. What, um, what happens is I ended up um, really falling in love with the role. And it was hard for me knowing it was the last day of shooting because I hadn't made a movie in several years that I've loved doing. And um, it's like I couldn't even say goodbye to everybody on the set when they had the last take. And I, I was just, you know, sort of lost myself in having a great time with the horses, with all the cowboys and everything. I knew it was over. And, you know, I didn't want to go to some bar and drink myself to sleep, you know, wake up the next morning and have to be on a plane and leave. So, I thought about it and I thought, how, how, how can I, I've got, you know, I've got to say goodbye to this world right now that I fell in love with, this, this whole horse thing, this rodeo thing, and all the, you know, all the people that I've met. And so I thought, mm, what can I do? And I thought, well, maybe I'll just shave my head and I won't be Frank T. Wells anymore. Many people come to the horse world after they've tried a lot of other things, and they find a new side of themselves they didn't know existed. For Mickey Rourke, it was just that way. It's a safe bet he's in the horse world to stay. 